Hello and welcome to Slim Wallet Junkies review of the Lofa Co Lever Wallet. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got a black version of the wallet. It's got the Lofa Co logo embossed on the front. Um, and on the back, it's got a small embossment. Hopefully you can make that out. If not, it just says real leather and made in England. Uh, so as I said, I've got the black wallet. You can see with a uh, nice red stitching going around. Um, and the Lofa Co um, originally caught my eye because it was uh, because it is uh, designed and, and manufactured just near my hometown. So when I saw it on Kickstarter, I, I knew I had to have a look at it. So it was originally on Kickstarter in 2014, but I only just uh, sort of caught up with it and got a, got a hold of one to review. Um, so as you can see, it's a very soft leather. It's quite pliable. Um, it's good quality. Feels nice. Uh, it's got a, a good genuine leather feel to it um, and nice quality and the inside pockets are suede as well which you probably won't be able to make out because they're a dark suede inside but really nice feel to them and, and allows the cards to slide in and out nicely and uh, with a smooth feel and, and just a nice uh, finishing touch so I'm just loading it up with a few cards as you can see we've got a simple design a simple card holder design to it and nothing two out of the ordinary but a, a simple design done well so we've got two pockets on either side two on the front two on the back um, and I'm just finishing loading up with a card in each of those pockets so I've just got four cards in there now one in each of the pockets so alongside the four uh, pockets on the outside there is a middle pocket which is designed specifically for cash uh, that can be used in a number of ways so you might want to store cash in the front I'll look at that a bit more later um, but the, the way the wallet is designed is to have cash in this middle uh, middle slot so you can just uh, put it in there, folded once will work. Probably easier to actually put it in, not like I've done, but like I'll show you now with the fold side down because it's just slightly easier to, to, to push in and pull out that way uh, that way round. Um, so that's the, the idea for cash, but if you use cash a lot, you might decide you want to store it in a front pocket, either with or without a card. So I'll just uh, move that card back one and maybe you decide that you want to have cash really easy accessible and so you'll fold it twice and just pop it in the front pocket and you can get a few easily get a few notes in here even the larger ones like a, a 20 pound note um, will fit easily into into one of those slots so you could choose to do it like that if that suits you better if you use cash a lot and you want it right there easily sort of accessed and then you could even decide to use that middle slot for a couple of cards that'll work quite well as well and so you can sort of play around with this wallet get the uh, the, sort of the loadout that, that suits you best that's one of the nice things about it and um, it's quite flexible in that way so here I've got uh, what well, have I got two cards in the back two in one pocket in the front and two in the middle um, so I've got six cards and two notes and are still looking really quite thin because um, it's uh, sort of each layer of leather is quite thin uh, that's something that's, that's done well in this uh, wallet and and really keeps keeps from bulking out too much so you can easily fit a couple of cards in each pocket and once you've used it for a while and stretched it out probably three maybe even four in each pocket but then you'll sort of that's, that's too many cards to be uh, carrying around really uh, in, in our opinion um, but uh, a lot of flexibility with the wallet you can sort of load it out the way that, that suits you best and I think it looks really nice when loaded out the, the cards sort of uh, stick out just the right amount for me that they're easily accessible and look good as well so you, so you can see one one handed just sliding the thumb along um, obviously the, the the sort of outside pockets will be easiest the the one behind slightly more difficult to get to but as I've shown there not not difficult at all so with uh, with what I've got in there now it's still pretty pretty slim uh, a card in in each of the pockets basically a couple in the middle and some cash in the front um, and and I think just looks really nice the nice leather feel I like the fact they've gone for suede on the inside of the pockets because the cards slide nicely there's sort of a nice resistance but nothing to, to sort of stop you pushing it in and out but it grips quite nicely and no worries about it falling out so I think it's a really nice wallet it's simple but good leather good quality good build good stitching um, just what you'd want in sort of a good straightforward card holder and at a good price point as well I believe £25 is what they're charging and as you can see it's slim it's, it's minimalist profile um, and so a nice wallet and, and one close to, close to home and made in England which we always like to support. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed uh, today's review of the Lofa Co wallet and there will be a link in the description to their uh, website where you can shop for it. Uh, don't forget to check out our blog for the latest uh, slim wallet news and reviews and also to check out the shop for the best slim wallets.